Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Before we get to rackets, a word from our sponsor. The first thing we're going to talk about is the anatomy of the badminton racket. The head, the shaft, and the grip, or the handle. The badminton racket itself cannot be longer than 68 centimeters, or in my calculations, 26.7 inches. Most rackets will come within this length, however, cheaper rackets sometimes come a little shorter. So we're going to start at the top and move our way down the racket. So the first thing is the head. It can come in two general shapes, round or isometric. Generally now the trend is an isometric head because it has an enlarged sweet spot. This means when you hit off center, the birdie will still go in the general direction that you want it to go. The next thing we're going to talk about is the shaft. Generally they're rated from flexible to stiff. Here's a picture that demonstrates the flexibility of a shaft using the same amount of energy. The last part of the racket is the grip. Generally, it's numbered from G1 to G5. G1 having the largest diameter and G5 having the smallest. Sometimes badminton rackets are even G6s. Generally, badminton rackets are within the G5 and G6 range. The last thing we're going to talk about is the overall weight of a badminton racket. This is usually indicated by the U's. The most common U's are 3U, 4U, 5U, and sometimes in special cases F. The difference is as the numbers go up, the weight gets lighter. These are the average weight. The next thing we're going to talk about is the balance point. Generally they'll come head heavy, evenly balanced, or head light. This means that when you try to balance a racket from the middle, it will either tilt forward, backwards, or stay evenly balanced. If the head tilts forward, that means it's head heavy. And if the head tilts backwards, then that means it's head light. Evenly balanced rackets should stay parallel. If you are like me and didn't know where to look for your first racket, I would recommend looking into Yonix. They're the largest and most readily accessible badminton brand in the world. You can look around your area and see which brand is most easily accessible for you. In my area, it's Yonix, Victor, and Lenin. I would start with Yonix because they're one of the most reliable and oldest brands in badminton. That way, you have a reference point when you go out to other brands. They may slightly differ but generally they will be the same. Remember that this isn't everything about a racket. However, this is what I think is the important basics of a racket.